We are back at war with Muscovy, and boy, does it feel good to just clap some Muscovite cheeks, don't you guys think? Welcome back, everybody, to Poland Strong here in EU4. I'm having so much fun with this run. Poland is awesome, dude. Anytime you can do, like, a gimmicky run where you just kind of pop off and do whatever you want, it's, it's so fun and rewarding. At least that's how I feel about it. I'm sure other people do as well, yeah? I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like playing as Poland? Or have you played as Poland? I know I did a, a run in a, a Missions Expanded Poland, which is great. Because uh, if you don't know, the lead dev for Missions Expanded is indeed a Polish bro. Shout out, Stiopa. Love you, homie. I don't know if you're watching this or not. But uh, he's a good dude. All right, we can upgrade these forts. We should do that, yeah? Um. So we don't need this fort, actually. So let's actually delete that fort because it's redundant. This this province, this fort communicates with this fort. So we don't need this one either. And then this fort will communicate up here. Yep, this is fine. Uh-huh. We should probably upgrade your forts as well. We've got that border fort building. We should probably build another fort like over here or something that would communicate maybe belgrade yeah belgrade wouldn't communicate though sadly we'll have to figure it out ai just always finds a way to get around your fort line so you got to be mindful of that all right let's get these guys fully carpet siege down if you're wondering how you do that you split your armies a bunch and then you hold down your you select the whole army and you when you right click you hit v and then you hit the next province so it's like you select them all, you hit V, 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 and what that does is that carpet siege them, sends them all out to a bunch of different provinces. All right, converting. These poor guys are not, they don't stand a chance. Poland has been sieged down again. Poland literally doesn't stand a chance. Feels bad, man. Um, no, I don't care about Brunswick. Those events, I, I purposely just hurt my relations with them because screw them, that's why, you know? Why should I worry about him? All right. So, Muscovy, how you feeling? So, Hamburg, Munster, and Trent. Okay. Let's see here. Do I care about these guys? Trent would be great to convert. Hamburg probably can't. And Munster probably can't as well. Cannot. Can. Definitely can. All right. We got our work cut out for us, but this will be totally worth it, in my humble opinion. Meanwhile, we're just going to get these guys entirely sieged down, because why not? And meanwhile, they're going to be standing a bunch of men over on these forts and uh, taking attrition, because Muscovy's a dum-dum. Look at that, man. It's fine if they occupy a couple provinces back. I don't really mind. We got some lazy diplomats. Let's go ahead and just send them on to... Uh, Deal with uh, the, the upset people. Fine. We can lose a stab. I can boost it up for only 140 admin, which is nice because we're 12 year, 11 years ahead of time on tech. So it doesn't hurt us to do that, right? All right. So these guys are mostly occupied. I'm going to get my armies together. We're going to start doom stacking because they're being annoying and they're carpet sieging stuff back. Um, That's fine. Some base tax. I can probably just piece them out if I wanted to. Take everything from the states that we currently border. All right. What about like this state for them? Maybe like this state as well. Yeah, that's reasonable, I think. Cool. Sounds good. So I'll take all that. Now I know I'm annexing them, but it's fine because they'll still core it. So, all right. We have to wait till we're done with the war. That's fine. And then this. Now. Uh, I, I, I keep saying that I'm going to separate piece or I'm going to, um, separate piece people to force convert them. And then I keep not doing it. I probably should. What are you guys doing over here? Huh? Punks. The old punks. So I will state up this stuff over here. I think that's all of it. Now I don't want to state up these two states. So I should be missing six provinces there. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. We're good. I'll give those over to them. They can core them up. It will extend how long it takes to annex them, but I don't really care a whole lot, to be honest. 
All right, so these guys are actually stopping my integration of them. If you don't know, if they have a province occupied, uh, your integration stops. Though ours is stopped anyways because we are uh, in the hole for Diplo because unjustified demands are a, a fun modifier. So you guys are already our brothers. Yes, let's go, dude. I always forget. All right, cool. Go with uh, the usual, all your money and all your trade power. And that will allow us to take these guys for no problemos. We can now come over here, go to Novgorod, Grant Province. And if you didn't know, you can actually click this. See? Oh. Oh my gosh, the UI in this game. Okay. Grant Province, click this, see? And it selects it, and you hit C. So click, 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 click C. Click, click C, click, click C. I don't know if this is C by default, but you can set that up as your hotkey if you don't know. All right, so let's have half you guys come over there, and half you guys come on over here. And court up Riga. Now Riga's nice, because that gives us extra trade power up here, which allows us to retain more value in this node. As we propagate a bit of that trade upstream, right? Where are we getting rebels, huh? So I have these guys suppress over here, obviously. In Byzantium. All right. Now, is Byzantium a decent march now? Still not. They're, like, getting there, actually. If we just keep developing our lands, we'll probably be able to, like, make them an efficient march. Now, if they're an efficient march, if, which means that they're less than 25% of my total development... Oh, nice. We don't even have unrest in these provinces. That's awesome. Oh, probably tolerance of the true faith if I had to guess. That is so good. What the heck? Our national unrest is crazy. Yeah, tolerance. Patriarch authority, which gives local... Basically, essentially, tolerance of the true faith. And then friendly troops. Cool. All right, yes. But uh, if they have... If, you, if they have less than 25% of your development, so... You know, theoretically, hovering over this, if you go based on that assumption, means that we have 293. Uh, so, yeah, we have 293 times 4. And so they can only have 293. So that means if we have 309 times 4, so if our total development goes up to 309 times 4, then they will be uh, loyal. Also, I like this song, but it, it uh, clips a little bit. Like, it's a little too loud. I think it, the audio clips a little bit. Anyways, let's um, let's see here. We have plenty of mana. We are plenty ahead of time. So let's do a little bit more development, yeah? So these provinces over here are developed. So let's turn you guys off that edict. Make sure we got our burgers nice and happy. Very good. Burgers are fat and happy. Mm, probably this state over here, yeah? So let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and then a little bit of this. That, this, that, this, and that. We'll go one month and give them another dev click there. Beautiful. And now, if I hover over this, it, it's going to be very close. Two, oh, oh my gosh. All right, yep. So, what was it before? 293 or something like that? 298. So, we just need to get some more development. That's all. Is that a three dev province? What the heck? How the heck do I have a three dev province? But look at this. You can see the dev the development of our capital state from space. Very good. Very, very good. And um, build more of these production buildings because those production buildings are going to butter up bread. Now let's see here. Where Where is faceting? Has faceting happened yet? Let's see here. There's a gems province here. So is this the gems district? Diamond district. Yep. Liege got faceting. Interesting. Usually it spawns like as soon as it's available. Uh, basically, all somebody needs it's an event that you can get if you don't know. Uh, it's an event that allows you to um, transform your trade good if you have glass into gems, and it gives you that permanent modifier in the province, which is for goods produced, which is really solid and trade value modifier, which uh, bu buffs up this value here, uh, which is goods produced times uh, trade. I can't remember exactly how it goes. It's something about. Yeah, value of the trade good, and then local goods produced. There's some math that goes there. Oh, it's goods produced times the value of the trade good. I'm a dingus, right? <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Trade is very complicated. It's very, very complicated. But I enjoy it. Trade is how I make most of my money in this game. Almost all the time. 
I'm a huge sucker for good trade. So once we get this fort built here, we're going to have a, a full front line in uh, Hungary. So nobody will be able to get into Carpathia unless they siege down Zagreb. Zagreb is going to be kind of the weak spot. This one is also farmlands, but it is what it is. Hey, the fort's done, as I was looking at it. Is this one getting updated? It is, yes, indeedy. Expiring CB. A diplomatic insult from Stettin. You don't say. Well, minimum autonomy and territory. So since we've stated up like half our state, or, or half our country, most of our country, actually, if not all, we'll go with that. That will allow us to state this all. We are ahead of time on admin, so we might as well full core it. There's no reason not to. And we'll core more of it as we're able. Let's also make sure we core that up as well. That does increase our income quite a bit. Hmm. Uh, you can see we have 44% of the trade up here. And we could get a lot more if we used uh, ships. And we could steer up here. But what we want to do in order to do that is to get more trade power over here. So let's get some spy network built on these guys. And get some claims. Because our truce is going to be our truce is gonna be up pretty soon here. So instead of improved relations... Shoot. Yeah, we're going with the spy network guy. I should probably get the diplo rep guy. But that's okay. See, this number went down. I think it was like 60-something before. But it went down because I gave them provinces. It's fine. We're still netting a ton of mana. Alright. Oh, come on. Let's get that spy network. Get some claims on Danmark. The funny people with that sound like they have potatoes in their mouth when they talk, right? All right, let's make sure we get our galleys up. And that's just a joke, by the way. I love you, Danes. I love you. Don't get it twisted, boys. All right, let's go ahead and sell titles and then immediately yoink crown land. And that will allow us to get some more. Very good. Ten more. Now, tell me this. Did it? That is so weird. Why would it do that? Why does it queue it up over here? Paradox, please. For the love of God. <laughs> what is that, bro? That is so busted. <laughs> All right, let's um at least, you know, see if we can help these guys. Now, these guys can get annexed. We have to improve our relations with them. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we're just going to kick back, wait until we have get at least a couple of claims. I'd like to get a claim on Ostfries or Ost, uh, whatever this, Ostjutland and uh, Copenhagen. Because those are both high dev provinces. And then ideally, we get a province like over here as well. I want the trade company. What is this? War of the Protestant League has popped off. Interesting. Huh. Okay. So let's take a look here. You can. There's a map mode for it now. If you don't know, uh, there you go. You have to set it by right clicking and then finding it in the, in the drop down in here. So Protestants are blue. Really? Austria is a member, but they are reformed, so they can't be the leader. So who's the leader? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, right. They're a different color. Oh, cool. I guess I didn't realize that. The I do think it's weird that they made them green. Like, that seems like kind of a missed opportunity. Why would they not be the color of Catholics? Like, yellow. I don't know. I just, I just feel like that's really strange. Anyways, okay, this is fine. Um, eh, I think it's going to be a pretty pretty easy win for the Catholics, yeah? I think so. But this is a good opportunity for us because we'll be able to uh, slide on in. These guys only have 21 ships, so uh, safe to say we're, we're, we're doing okay. The Parthenon in Athens. Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. Or what is this? What is this last one here? Oh, right. Orthodox. Uh, religious unity, 25%. That's actually pretty solid. 30% stab cost. Goodness gracious. That makes uh, truce breaking a lot less painful, huh? In the late game, if you wanted to get some uh, truce breaking in for some uh, some uh, world conquests for you sweaty tryhards. All right. So I'm going to get at least a claim on Ostjutland as well. So let's get this army over here on the Finn. Finn. That's uh, one of uh, Parmy's boys, one of the uh, one of the patrons from uh, Antebellum. He was telling me that he was from Finn. I thought that was funny. He said that these guys speak the um, 
the the proper proper Danish is what he was telling me. Whatever that means. Is there a such thing as proper Danish? Har har har. Right. Shift to I was holding down control there. We've got our army transported over. There you go. Now let's take our transports and go hide them in Memel. Truce with a bunch of people is over. I don't particularly care. Now I do think I'll get a claim on Holstein as well. Or I should probably just get one that's got the most development. So like Schleswig. Schleswig. Um, and now I also plan to take and release a Finland. That is my, my intention here. So let's take our galley, our navy here. Let's upgrade the ships that need upgraded. Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, okay, we'll let them get repaired. It's fine. I mean, I'm in a rush. I'm trying to get some cl more claims over here. So speaking of, I should probably, um, I don't care. Um, oh, shoot. I don't think Denmark would be steering from here. No. Okay, so let's transfer over here. Let's collect instead of, oh, instead of collecting in Krakow. Yeah, yeah, it's probably going to make us a lot of money as well. 18.3 will definitely go up. Oh, and we we'll make sure we have you on uh, this one here, because that's... Oh, s really? Oh, ah, okay. I was hoping that Denmark would be steering from here, but it doesn't look like they are. 18.3 will turn into 20... Chat, why didn't you tell me to do this earlier? Come on now, you guys... Ugh, worthless, huh? <laughs> worthless. Just kidding. Hey, free admin mana and 20% morale of armies. Let's go. Let us go. All right, we are dipping in PP size again. Can I insult anybody? Let's see here. I don't need to re have you anymore. Commonwealth gets mad at Muscovy. Oh, border border conflict. Sons of biscuits. Can I insult you? Yes, I can. You suck and I hate you. Give me big PP. Always keep your PP over 50. It gives you an extra plus one of each mana type if you have at least 50 per month. So... Uh, yeah, it's really, really, really important to keep it up if you can. Very good. All right. Oh, hey. I love free mana. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Let's get a claim on Schleswig. And then once you guys are repaired, well, I actually don't. I think we're good. Let's go cleansing of the heresy so we don't actually get hurt for the... Um, the uh, unjustified demands anyways. We have two three-star generals. Isn't that crazy? So what's their navy look like now, actually? It looks like their navy's been... Oh, they don't have one. Heck yeah, bro. Well, that's uh, that's actually perfect. So let's pull these guys over and have them blockade. So we should be able to absolutely gut these guys in this war then. Um, Like that. And then I plan to take... Ay, ay, ay. Well, this is fine. I can just take like Vipuri and then we can release them from that. And then reconquest later. That's how we do it. Oh, shisa. My uh, my general is dead. All right, let's get another general. One siege. Only a two-star. Improved relations is always good. Now, we can probably... Mm, we should... We can probably take... Nah, I think we'll, we'll rush through the rest of this. Now, the fact that I'm integrating a subject while I'm doing this is not helpful. <laughs> for for uh, ripping through the idea group sooner. But, you know... It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. There you go. They have no armies over here. They don't really have much of an army to speak of at all that I can tell. They're probably running around down here in Germany, if I had to guess. But it's fine. Uh, my subjects should just flood in here and uh, occupy all that. Uh, none of these mean anything to me. So I guess we'll just go with blockade impact on the siege, which gives us a plus one on this if they're blockaded, which is nice. It's a nice little modifier. I don't dislike it. Now, who did they call in? Frieschland? Our brothers in the faith. Traitors. And then get over here. And if I had to guess, these guys are disloyal. Yes, they are. So I could be standing right next to the 36 stack right here, and they wouldn't touch me. Because if the AI dislikes their leader or their overlord, they will not touch you. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now right, let's just have these guys hold over here. Now I'm gonna have to siege a fort down over here in Vipari. Though Sweden might not have any. Oh, there is one on Vipuri. Okay. Okay, this is fine. So let's get you guys up here to Kalmar. I don't think it projects. Yep, Elfsberg does not project a zone of control onto this Holland. Which is cool. 
Let's get you guys over in here and blockade the crap out of them. Win some sieges over here. Feels good, man. Look at this. Like, we're just... I, I'm mostly AFKing this war. That's why I love Vassal Play so much. Like, look at this, dude. We have 100,000 infantry alone, and only 37 of them are mine. The rest are all my subjects. Though I won't lie, I should... I do kind of regret having these guys. Um, how many ideas do you need in order to unlock your... your this is 3, 6, 9, 12... 369, so it's 21. So they do have their colonists now. Yes. Oh, you, or you can just hover over here. But yeah, if you have 21 ideas, you've unlocked your, your ambition here. So they do have their ambition. So they do have a colonist. So hopefully, let's see here. I might need to sub subsidize them a bit. I Yeah, they don't even have colonial maintenance, so we have to subsidize them. That's okay. I can do that. We're making tons of money now that we've switched up our trade here. So let's give them subsidies of like four ducats a month might seem excessive but i promise you it'll be worth it if they colonize a bunch of the new world for me and we just have like an icelandic vinland subject i genuinely love the idea of that oh so denmark is the he's just a participant in the war so he'll probably peace out separately if i had to guess i don't think they're going to be handling it well now, this is pretty nice, of course. Prague is getting sieged down. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, I didn't even see Lubeck was part of their... Uh, was Denmark as well. That's funny. I can probably take Lubeck then. Yeah. Gonna have to wait for them to get pieced out in that war, but that will be good for us. Now, the reason why I'm not taking this... I, I'm sure... Like, I get questions about it. The reason why I'm not taking this is because this harsh treatment cost is nice, but it's gonna be much more useful... Once we get into the Age of Absolutism, and then we can um, put down Rebels for Absolutism. Because if you don't know, you can squish Rebels for Absolutism. It's very powerful. You always want to do it. It's probably the best way to do it if you can stack that modifier. Alright, so let's do some Scorching here. See if we can goad them into uh, taking a bad fight. It didn't make the sound that time. I lagged. Oh, a little bit of military tactics. Now, I'm not going to be able to really piece this war out until the War of the Protestant League is over. And they have a modifier to be, like, super excited about the war. So it might be best. I don't think I can attack them because they're calling the Protestant League. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Well, let's get these guys over here then. Let's um, let's get these guys over here. Hopefully they don't take a 14 percenter. They did not. Very good. I don't want to attack them quite yet. Here we go. So we'll join. We'll attack. And then our boys will reinforce. We will win that battle. Heavy cost. But they actually lost eh, comparable. That's fine though. Let's head in there with our siege guy. And have this guy head over onto Stockholm. Yeah. Oh, no. Never mind. They're getting occupied in a different war, so no no reason to. Instead, I will split you guys here. And we'll just siege down the rest of them, then. Uh-huh. So I am going to wait for this, because this Diplotech cost 10% is pretty solid. Plus, this will make even well, every war, but specifically this war better, moving forward as well. Now, I don't... Okay. Yeah. We can take whatever we want. I just want to take Vipari because it's a fort, one. It's a level four fort, actually. And it's right next to our border, so I don't have to worry about rebels or anything like that using boats to get to them. It's more about, like, ease of use, ease of access. So these guys are sieging back Lubeck. That would be perfect for me, actually. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be fine because then I could just head down and take it from them, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Please just siege this fort, though. I don't I don't want to come. I don't want them to think I'm coming for them. I want them to siege it down. All right. Went in some sieges over here. Let's uh, scorch this fort as well. Oh, that's a big old Danish stack, actually. Let's get our armies together over here. So, defenders desert. So, they're probably making decent progress here. 35%. Okay. Please finish. Win the siege here. 
49? Come on, AI. Let's do it. The AI. Yes. I'm actually excited. The AI want a siege. <laughs> and then obviously we have to get our boys over here and then send this army like here. So we've got. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Why is our siege ability so good? Oh my gosh, our spy network, and then we just have good siege ability in general. That means we can get a disease outbreak every 20 days, which is nuts. But uh, I doubt we're going to be able to piece this war out in this episode. It's probably going to take some time. Um, that's just how it goes. Anytime you get the uh, the League War popping off, it can be a little bit chaotic, to say the least. Doesn't look like It looks like they gave up on Stockholm. So, oh my gosh. Let... They have one ship over here. Okay, here we go. No, let me on the freaking thing, you freaking frick. Freaking, freaking thing. All right. Now, we need to convert these things, especially for my subject over here. Look at that. Yes. They're sieging down Stockholm or Prague. What's new? They are on Stockholm. We will siege down Stockholm. Speaking of, I am excited to go to Stockholm for Paradox Con here in September. Very excited. I got invited by Paradox, and I'm so honored and excited to do it. It's like uh, the first time I'm going to be able to meet like tons of my friends, like Zlevik and uh, Alzabo, all those awesome people. So I'm super excited for it. I'll go ahead and take admin. It's fine. Uh, and then we might be able to piece this war out pretty soon. Eh, still probably going to have to wait it out. All right, cool. Well, oh, wait, they pieced out. <gasps> They did. They pieced out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, cool. So we're going to wrap this war up in the next one. We are going to take all of this, including Lubeck. We're going to take Vipri and maybe like, yeah, yeah, just Vipri and then all their money. <laughs> it says we'll be overextended. We will not because uh, Vipri will be released as a subject. Uh, AE is not really, it's mostly a number. I don't think a coalition would happen, at least not one that I'm worried about, but it's going to give us a ton of trade power in Lubeck, which will give us more trade power up here because we'll propagate upstream. And we're probably going to move our trade capital over here into the Baltic, which will allow us to collect way more money, in my opinion. We'll see. Only time will tell. But if you guys are enjoying, make sure you let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter. All those things, they're linked in the description. YouTube thinks that you will like the video linked on screen right now, and I think you will as well. So feel free to check that out. And uh, if you want to check out my second channel, Chubert, you can get early access if you support me on my Patreon. I do put out multiple videos a week on that channel. I've been having a lot of fun, and uh, you guys seem to enjoy it a lot as well. So that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.